Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Red Talks. I hope everyone is having a great Thursday. So yeah, I'm really happy and I'm excited once again because I'm the host. And uh, for the and I'm excited for the people who are already here and yung papunta pa lang to dito. So for everyone who's here who is listen and who is listening for the first time, let me just share to you a bit of what Red Talks is. Red Talks is a storytelling Bible study. So we focus on the salvation that uh, Jesus brought for us here on earth. So we center and we focus on the red letters, the most important words in the Bible, because they are spoken by Jesus through his stories and parables in the New Testament. So that is what Red Talks is in a nutshell. Uh, so for tonight, uh, for the one who will give us the summary, I call on my sister who is here right next to me. Anna. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Paul. So for our summary tonight, for our past six episodes, so for our first episode, the word of creation. So for the word of creation, in God's word, we will never go wrong. When you speak of God's word, you will have God's results. Our creativity is to bring something out of nothing. Speak to them or our, our mga kasama po natin sa bahay. Speak to them as they can be or, or what can they be someday. Speak life, of course, because that is the power of the word of creation. Of course, affirmation of words and encouragement, it can affect and build someone's character. So for our second episode, the word of salvation, when we have the revelation, it is very important um, how our relationship with God is. The and of course, the connection of our mouth and our heart is to be alive with Christ is the simple definition of salvation. So for our third episode, the word of authority, words can make or break us. Words can make and break you. And of course, God's word are not magic words. God's word has authority and power. So for our fourth episode, the word of faith. So for the word of faith, what we believe in has to come out on what we say. Faith operates with patience. Hindi po siya shortcut, mga kapatid. As long as we believe with faith and patience, we will receive the promises of God. When we build our life with faith on the promises of God, it will stand the test of time. So for our fifth episode, the word of eternal life, words are very much important. The Bible is more than just a self-help book. Let us also get to know our author, which is God. And if we believe now, we are experiencing eternal life. So we have to experience it now. Po. And of course, for our episode six, the word of healing, where God's will is, that is the best place to be. The word of God came first before healing. Of course, let us declare the prompt, declare, believe, and proceed. So that is the summary for our six episodes we've had now. And let now let me introduce to you our speakers, Rome, Rose, and Mel. Good evening, everyone. Once again, we want to thank the Lord because it's Tuesday, uh, it's Thursday, and we are all in one group here in Red Talks, and we are going to talk about beautiful things at ang ating pong master storyteller ay ang ating Panginoong Jesus. So please prepare your Bibles because we will tackle a lot of beautiful stories tonight. Brother okay. Mel? Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Uh, nasa 7th uh, episode na po tayo ng, ng Word Series. Ano? 
ito po yung pag-aaralan natin ngayon yung word of rebel uh, word of uh, liberation and restoration speaking of liberation ano so nung bata pa ako naalala ko naalala ko nung nung nakita ko tong liberation naalala ko yung tatay at nanay ko kasi noon nung bata pa ako kinukuwento nila yung yung panahon ng libera- liberation sabi nila ito yung end of uh, Japanese occupation in the Philippines. So ito yung kinukwento nila kung ano yung karanasan nila, kung ano yung nangyari. So yan. Pero ngayon po, ang pag-aaral hindi po panahon ng hapon, yung pag-aaral natin ngayon. Yung, liber- yung word of liberation and restoration about ito po yung uh, pag-aaral natin yun in the Bible perspective. So yun po yung uh, pag-aaral natin. Kaya napakaganda po nito. Ako nga po excited na 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 uh, pag-aralan to ngayon. Yeah. No? Uh, And I'm very sure, Mel, na wala wala siguro sa mga nanonood ang naka-witness ng panahon ng Hapon, ano? <laughs> ako man, hindi ko man paano yun, pero naalala ko lang, naalala ko lang. Oh, oh. Ako, yeah, but true, that's very true. Yeah. Yung And, level of na tinata na ano nila. <laughs> that's true, very true. Yeah. Okay? May we ask Rome to pray for us? And after praying, we will We will sing a worship song as Brad Talks families. And we will enjoy, ang sabi nga ni Brother Mel kanina, we will talk about liberation. We will talk about restoration. Yan po ay i-declare ninyo sa pamilya nyo tonight that everyone will be freed. Okay? Everyone will be liberated. Hindi po yung uh, uh, captive tayo. Everyone will be restored. And uh, Rome, can you pray for us? Lord, we thank you so much for tonight's Red Talks, Lord. Uh, we acknowledge your presence tonight, and we are very much looking forward to your word. Lord, prepare us for your word tonight. Humble us and give us a teachable heart, Lord. Uh, I pray for the speakers that as they share your word, they are constantly communicating to you. I pray for the families that are listening, every son, every daughter, every mother, every father. I pray that your word will flow through them and that as they Listen, they feel a sense of relief, a sense of restoration and liberation, Lord. Lord, we love you, and we give you back all the glory and praise. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. How great thou art, high and mighty, how great thou art. Welcome to our episode 7 of the Word series here in Red Talks. Most of us, we are hostage of something. We are captive. We are prisoner of events or things in our lives, either in sort of sickness, in sort of bad relationship, even in our belief, or even in tradition, and worse, in religion. Not few preachings are tackling about liberation and restoration. Liberation, ang sabi po dito, the definition is the act of setting someone free from imprisonment, slavery, or oppression. So tanungin mo sa katabi mo, are you set free? Are you imprisoned of something? Are you a slave of someone? What is restoration? Restoration is the action of returning something to a former or a original condition. Last Tuesday, we talked about we as children, we as the creation of God, we are whole. We are originally made as complete, but in some sort of captivity, in some sort of of pre-imprisonment. We are captive by something in our lives. But tonight, we will talk about the word liberation based on the Bible. This is Red Talks. We are a storytelling and the master storyteller is our Lord Jesus. Tonight, Ate Anna Pim. Tonight, Ate Jane, Sister Edith, Sister Marcel. Kuya Jojo, Kuya Saldi, and all of you who just plug in. 
open your Bible in John 8, 3 to 11, because this will be our main story for tonight. And you know what? We have a lot of bonuses, bonuses for tonight, because we are going to have a side stories. No, we have six side stories, and the main story, which is this one, total in total. The Lord is giving us seven stories for tonight. Wow, Lord, very generous for tonight. So that's why talk to your husband, talk to your daughter, your son, even the extended families, aunties and uncle, and tell them, stand by, because the Lord is going to speak to you personally. Let us read the word, John 8, 3 to 11. The book of John, mga kapatid, is the fourth book in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It says here, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group. Yan, sabi dito. Okay? So, they made her stand in the group. Ang sabi dito, stand in the group. Yan. And says here, uh, and, said, and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. Verse 5. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such woman. Now, what do you say? Yung number 5 po and 4, the teachers of the Pharisees, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees are setting a trap to our Lord Jesus. At ang sinasabi niya, Teacher, this woman in front of you, she is caught in adultery. And in the law of Moses, such woman has to be stoned. And verse 6, we said, they were using this question as a trap in order to have basis for accusing him. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground. And number 7, when they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, let anyone of you who is without sin Okay, any one of you here, Sister uh, Alicia, Sister Elsa, Sister Cleo, Sister Irene, any one of you, ang sabi dito, any one of you who hasn't sinned, okay, be the first to throw a stone at her. We are reading from NIB and in NASB, New American Standard Bible, no? It says here, ang ganda dito, He who is without sin among you, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Guys, ang sabi po dito, no? Let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Number eight, again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. So two times, our Lord Jesus wrote on the ground. And we will have a separate um, study of that. But tonight, we will talk about liberation and restoration. Itype po natin sa comment section, liberation and restoration. Verse 9, at this, those who heard begin to go away one at a time. So, unti-unti daw nawala ang mga pariseyo and teachers of the law nung nakita nilang may sinusulat si Lord. At saka nung sinabi ni Lord na kung sino man ang walang kasalanan sa inyo, let him be the first one to throw a stone on this particular woman who committed adultery. Okay? Number 10, Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Yan, hinahanap ni Lord. Nasaan na yung mga Pharisees and mga teachers of the law. Hinahanap niya kasi unti-unting nawala. Okay? Has no one condemned you? This is the good Lord speaking, mga kapatid. The court of ungodly. Ito yung mga court na nag-i-imprison ng mga tao. Ito yung mga teachers of the law and the Pharisees. They were gone one by one. Number 11, the woman replied, no one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave 
your life of sin. Wow, beautiful verse. Basahin po natin ito sa Tagalog na mabilis. Ano? Dumating noon ang mga tagapagturo ng kautusan at mga pariseyo na may dalang isang babaing na huli sa pangangalo niya. Iniharap nila ito sa karamihan. At sinabi kay Jesus, Guro, ang babaeng ito'y nahuli sa aktong pangangalo niya. Ayon sa kautusan ni Moises, dapat batuhin hanggang sa mamatay ang mga katulad niya. Ano naman ang masasabi niyo? Itinanong nila ito upang subukin siya at may maiparatang sila laban sa kanya. Ngunit yumuko lamang si Jesus at sumulat sa lupa sa pamamagitan ng daliri. Patuloy sila sa pagtatanong kaya tumayo si Jesus at nagsalita ang sino man sa inyo na walang kasalanan ang siyang maunang bumato sa kanya. At muli siyang yumuko at sumulat sa lupa. Nang marinig nila iyon, sila isa-isang umalis. Simula sa pinakamatanda, iniwan nila ang babaeng nakatayo sa harap ni Jesus. Tumayo si Jesus at tinanong ang babae, Nasaan sila? Wala na bang humahatol sa iyo? Verse 11, wala na po ginoo, sagot ng babae. Sinabi ni Jesus, hindi rin kita hahatulan. Umuwi ka na at mula ngayon ay huwag ka nang gumawa ng kasalanan. Beautiful story in John 8:3 to 11. Here we are talking about there are three or four characters here, ano, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees, our good Lord Jesus, and the woman who are who is committing an adultery. But there is one particular question in the law of Moses that they are talking about. No, they said, okay, in the book of Leviticus, you don't have to go there tonight. Anyone who has not sinned is the only one who can throw a stone to this woman who committed adultery. Okay, the question is, in that particular event, in this particular story, out of the four characters na present po dito, Iisa lamang po ang pupwedeng magbato sa babae. Sa kanilang, sa apat na karakter dito, teachers of the law and Pharisees are sinners. All of us are sinners. And especially the woman who is actually being, uh, ito yung pinaparatangan nila. Okay? The only person who has the right to throw a stone In that particular woman, according to the law of Moses, because it says here, in the law of Moses, we command to stone such woman. Okay? But here, sa apat pong present, ang Panginoon lamang ang pwedeng bumato sana sapagkat siya yung walang kasalanan. But what do we see here? Okay? Ang kagandahan po dito sa istorya nito at the end of the story in verse 11, the Lord said, Then neither do I condemn you. Go now and live your life of sin. The teachers of the law, the Pharisees, they are expecting na ang unang bumato sa babae ay ating Panginoong Jesus. Ngunit, here we can see that our good Lord cares for the woman. The heart of God is to liberate all of us. The good thing about the woman is he stay, she stayed. Hinarap niya yung katotohanan at merong source, sort of remorse. Ipinakita niya na, Lord, ako po ay makasalanan. For those teachers of the law and the Pharisees, they left one by one. Iniwan nila. That is why hindi sila nakareceive ng mercy sa ating Panginoon. Here, what we are trying to say is, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees, they said that we, we can throw a stone. You know what? Mag, mag, babalik lang po ako ng ilang verses, ano? but most of us, we are guilty of throwing stone. Not just by literally throwing stone. Alam niyo po yung usang-usong marites na yun, ano? We shoot the wounded. 
Ito yung parang talagang sugatan ka na, sinisiraan ka pa. Tayo yung mga judges para tayong mga hukom. And here in this story, we are talking about liberation and restoration. The woman got freed at verse 11 kasi ang sabi ng, ng Panginoon, I will not condemn you. Ano po ang ibig sabihin ng condemn? Nako, ang hirap naman ng English na yan, Sister Marie. But you know, condemn is that it means you crit criticize, you attack, you blame. But here, the good Lord did not blame. But instead, what He released is mercy and forgiveness. While there is a requirement for condemning, no? Nakalagay po in in many verses in the Bible including from the Old Testament. Let's say for example Psalm 53 and you don't have to go there. Everyone has turned away they have together become corrupt. There is no one who does good not even one. All of us makasalanan po tayo. And here the good Lord in verse 11 on that day instead of throwing a stone he exhibited care and love. Pero bakit po nakareceive si woman? Because the woman stayed. At merong remorse, merong repentance. He received mercy. He received freedom. He, she, got, she, she got liberated. This is what is the good news in this John 8, 3 to 11. The release, the verdict of the King of Mercy. Jesus, the heart of Jesus is to liberate us. Ikaw at ako. Lahat po tayong nanunood dito tonight. Okay? Tayo po, ang gusto ng ating Panginoon. Ang gusto niya sa'yo, Kuya Noli. Ang gusto niya sa'yo, Sister Cleo. Sister Russell. If tonight you have something that you are being captive, meron kayong sitwasyon na hindi pa kayo naliliberate. This is the time that you speak to the Lord because the heart of God is always mercy. So, makikita po natin ang ginawa ng babae is nag-stay siya. Okay? Nag-stay yung babae. Yung mga parisis, hindi sila nakareceive ng mercy and freedom kasi umalis sila. Ano pa ang, require, ang nangyari dito? In verse 11, sabi niya, Go now and live your life of sin. Iwanan mo na ang iyong mga kasalanan. Ibig sabihin po, pag ikaw ay nakareceive ng mercy, pag ikaw ay nakareceive ng freedom, kung ikaw ay nakawala na sa tanikala ng pagkakasala, kung ikaw ay nakagapos before at ikaw ay pinawalan na ng ating Panginoon, dapat iwanan mo ang iyong kasalanan. May interject uh, Sister Rose. Yes, yes. Yung yes. ano ano, yung sinabi ni neither, neither do I. Kanya hindi 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 kita babatuhin. Yun yung word na ano eh acceptance yun eh. Inaccept niya kahit makasalanan yung tao. Kasi nagpunta si Jesus dito hindi para mag, magparusa, kundi i-accept yung mga nagkakasala. Katulad natin, nagkasala tayo. Alam natin nagkasala tayo. Pero kung lalapit tayo sa ating Panginoon, i-accept niya tayo. At sa kanya sinabi na go home. Kasi kung minsan nauna sa atin eh yung yung ano eh, go home sabi niya ibig sabihin noon sa kanya at huwag ka nang magkasalang muli. Sa kanya inutusan. Acceptance muna kasi sometimes tayong mga tao, oh, mangako ka muna ha. Mangako ka na hindi mo hindi mo nagagawin uli yan. Kung minsan ganun tayo eh, pero si Jesus Christ Baligtad siya. Ano? Inaccept niya muna yung makasalanan ng babae at sa kanya inutusan. Tayo utos muna. Ano? Yung munang uh, tawag dito, uh, meron tayong uh, condition muna bago Yan. tayo matawad. Yan. That's true. And you know, ang kagandahan po dito sa babae, no? instead of um, di ba nag-stay siya, no? But the good Lord says, go now and leave, uh, and leave your sin. Pero, ang, ang instruction ni Lord doon is, 
live a new life. Kaya nga po ang sinasabad natin dito sa Red Talks, ano? Um, Lord, sabi, sabi natin, I have to die from myself. Okay? I have to die from myself. Iwanan mo na yung mga kasalanan mo so that you will be a new creation. Yun ang sinasabi dito. Some of us, okay, in such situation na tayo ay nagkasala at tayo po ay guilty, um, meron po kasi tayong uh, some sort of guilt na ang nangyayari, nababaon pa tayo sa kasalanan natin. Hindi na lang ako a-attend ng Bible study kasi nahihiya ako kay Lord. You know, that is not a good spirit po. Hindi po yan ispirito na galing sa ating Panginoon because our good Lord is very accepting. He is merciful. Kaya nga po yung minsan yung mga na-rape, no? they became hostess. No? Nagkaroon na yung since na-rape sila sa prostitution na siya napunta. Yung namang iba, mga drug user, uh, naging drug lord. Okay? Yung namang ibang na-rape, meron din silang ginawang hindi magandang bagay. So instead na kumbaga, kung nadumihan ka nga, sabi nila, hindi ikaw yung dumi. Kung hindi, nadumihan ka lang. Okay? So tonight, as we talk about this John 8, to 11, I hope that you you are more focused on what the God who is sinless is the one actually giving mercy. Ang kagandahan po dito sa babae na to, after she got liberated, if you will read John 8 or the whole book of John, many of those who receive mercy and freedom from our Lord, lahat po sila nag-testify. You know what? Pag ang isang bagay po, ikaw ay pinakawalan na sa iyong kagapusan, you tell it eh, no? Alam mo, ang hirap-hirap ng buhay namin dati. That's why, ano, nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon. Yan. You know, um, na-rape ako dati, but the good Lord, uh, pinatawad niya ako, He is merciful. Aside from liberating me, He restores me. Kaya ngayon, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> meron na akong asawa at mga anak. Those who did walk away, okay, yung mga parisi na nag-walk away, they remain still unforgiven. So kung hindi po kayo a-attend ng Bible study, hindi nyo, <coughs> sorry, intentionally, hahanapin ang Panginoon. You will not be victorious. Mercy will bring triumph to your lives. No? Ang sabi dito, Leave your sin. Iwanan mo na ang iyong mga kasalanan at mabuhay ka ng bago. There are two stories that Brother Mel will talk to you about that will say na consistent ang Panginoon that He is the one good giving words of liberation and restoration. So open your Bible in Mark 5, 25 to 34. So ito yung story nito about the bleeding woman ano. So yung sinasabi ni Sister Rose na two uh, uh, story na to. Ito ito yung matatagpo nga sa Mark 5 25 to 34 at saka yung sa Luke uh, 8 to 48. Parallel to ano, the same story na kung titingnan natin magkapareho sila. Ito yung uh, uh, yung Jesus healed the bleed uh, the bleeding woman. Ang sabi dito, basahin po natin, no? Ang babasahin ko lang dito yung uh, Mark 5 25 34. Ang sabi po dito, a large crowd followed and pressed around him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a, a great deal under the care of many doctors. So nagpagamot po siya, nagpapagamot po siya for, for almost 12 years and has spent all he had. So in-spend na po niya lahat ng ano niya, na, wala na po siyang pera. No? Uh, yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. So, 
when she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because he thought if I just touch his cloth, I will be healed. So, naniniwala po siya na kahit masalat man lang niya, kahit hindi siya magpaalam, masalat lang niya si Jesus, yung, yung laylayan ng damit niya, eh, gagaling siya sa labing dalawang taon niyang sakit. Ano? Immediately, her bleeding stopped. Uh, I just touched his cloth and I will be healed, sabi niya. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed So ito po, uh, freed from her suffering. So nawala na po yung na-liberate na siya. No? Na-restore na yung health niya. At once, Jesus realized the power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against, against you, his disciple answered. And yet, You can ask, who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around, around to see who had done it. Then the woman, knowing that had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and trembling with fear. Told him the whole truth. He said to her, Sinabi ni Jesus dito, Doubter, your faith has has healed you. Go in peace and be free from your suffering. So, ito po yung, ano, yung uh, count ng, ano, ng, uh, ng isang babae na nagbibleed. Ano? Basahin po natin sa Tagalog na, na, na mabilis. Ano? May isang babae roon na labing dalawang taon nang dinudugo. Maraming hirap ang dinanas niya sa kabila ng panggagamot sa iba't ibang klase ng doktor, naubos na niya ang lahat ng ari-arian niya sa pagpapagamot. Pero sa halip na gumaling ay lalo pang lumala ang kanyang sakit. Nabalitaan niya ang himalang ginagawa ni Jesus. Kaya binagsik, nakipagsiksikan siya sa mga tao upang mahipo man lang ang damit ni Jesus. Naisip kasi ng na, Naisip kasi ng babae, mahipo ko lang ang damit niya ay gagaling ako. So yun po yung paniniwala niya, yun po yung, pan, yung, uh, yung uh, pananampalataya. Nang mahipo nga niya ang damit ni Jesus, biglang tumigil ang kanyang pagdurugo at naramdaman niyang magaling na siya. Agad namang naramdaman ni Jesus na may kapangyarihan na, na, may kapangyarihan na lumabas sa kanya. Kaya lumingon siya at nagtanong, Sino ang humipo sa damit ko? Sumagot ang mga tagasunod niya. Sa dami po ng mga taong sumisiksik sa inyo, bakit pa kayo magtatanong kung sino ang humipo sa inyo? Ang sabi ng kanyang mga alagad. Ano? Pero patuloy, niya, patuloy siyang tumingin sa paligid para makita kung sino ang humipo sa kanya. Alam ng babae kung ano ang nangyari sa kanya. Kaya lumapit siyang nanginginig sa takot at humaha lumuhod sa harap ni Jesus. Ipinagtapat niya ang katotohanan kay Jesus. Pagkatapos sinabi sa kanya ni Jesus, anak. Ang sinabi niya, anak, ano? Hindi hindi niya sinabi babae, hindi kundi anak. Pinagaling ka ng iyong pananampalataya. Umuwi kang mapayapa. So parang ganun din sa ano natin ano, pinauwi ni Jesus nung, ma, nung makita niya. Na-restore dito o na-liberate na yung uh, babae doon sa kanyang uh, suffering. Ano? Itong babae na to, kaya siya, hindi na siya nagpaalam. Eh. Kung titignan natin, hindi siya nagpaalam. Di ba? Kasi nga, during the time nung uh, mga panahong yun, ano, ang babaeng dinutugo sa Jewish uh, sa Messiah sa uh, Mosaic uh, law pagka dinudugo ka hindi ka pwedeng makahalubilo sa mga tao kasi lahat ng matatabanan mo o mahihipo mo dudumi din kasi ang ano ang sa uh, sa Israel law pagka ang isang babae dinudugo eh ano yan uh, it's a dirty 
no? So lahat na mahahawakan, you know? Katulad ngayon sa atin ngayon sa ating panahon, di ba? Ngayong may, may COVID, di ba? Pag kanalapit kesa sa isang kung may COVID kahit wala kang COVID, di ba? Pinandidirihan ka na kahit sa sa pamilya ninyo, di ba? Yung mga pamilya natin, ikaw, ha, di ba? Ako, nagka-COVID ako. Yung mga anak ko, si Sister Rose ay na lumapit sa akin. Di ba? Kasi <laughs> yun yung ano eh, natatakot sila na mahawa rin. So ganun din ang sitwasyon dito. <laughs> Kaya ang ginawa ng babae, so nag-ano siya? Yung uh, nag- uh, hindi, siguro nagtalokbong siya para makalapit lang siya kay Jesus. Pero ang ano dyan, ano? yung uh, hoping na mat, ma, matatas silang niya si Jesus para kasi yun yung, yung pananalig niya. Yes. Ang yeah. na, 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 nakikita natin dito, ano, yung pananampalataya ng babae yung nagpagaling sa kanya. Di po ba? Kadalasan, mm-hmm. ito po yung natanaan natin. Pero bago yung pananampalataya, may nawala kay Jesus. What's that? No? Yung power. May power na nawala sa kanya. Dito, sa, sa, ano, sa, sa dito, di ba? Her faith and the power of Jesus equals restoration or mm. ano yung uh, healing. Yun yung nagpagaling sa kanya. Hindi lang mm. yung babae. Kasi may nawala kay, kay, kay Jesus dito. Maliwanag na sinasabi na may nawalang kapangyarihan o no? may nawalang lakas. Mm. Ah, Nalipat. Kaya kung minsan, ano, kung minsan meron tayo, tayo, tayo mismo, nananampalataya naman ako kay Jesus Christ, bakit hindi niya ibinibigay yung gusto ko? Mm. Nananampalataya naman ako sa Kanya, bakit hindi ako gumagaling? Mm. Nananampalataya naman ako sa Kanya, eh, bakit hindi ako magkaroon ng trabaho? Bakit mm. hindi ako makakita ng trabaho? Yes. Kasi nga, yeah. nag-ano tayo, nag, uh, nagre-rely lang tayo sa karunungan natin, nagre-rely lang tayo dun sa lakas natin, nagre lang tayo sa mga taong kakilala natin, pero hindi tayo dumalapit sa ating Panginoon. Pero itong babae na to, although publicly, ano, although publicly, hindi um, nahihiya siya o may takot siya. Ha? Pero sinubukan niyang lumapit sa ating Panginoon. Yes, amen and amen, Brother Mel. Ano? You know, ang nagustuhan ko dito, Brother Mel, is yung Verse 34, ang sabi niya, daughter, okay? May relasyon, ano? Daughter, your faith has healed you. So, yun pong liberation and restoration, isa po sa mga key character natin ay dapat meron tayong faith. The same ito po, the same story dun sa pinag-usapan natin kanina, which is yung adulterous woman. She stayed and she has faith that she will receive mercy. And here, ito naman pong babae na, na, na nakita natin. No? Uh, in fact, kaya na-release ang power ng ating Panginoon is meron ng faith ang babae before that. At kaya ang sabi ni, ni Lord dito, be freed from your suffering. So the key verse here is verse 34. He said to her daughter, Your faith has healed you. Okay? Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Ano po yung na-restore dito? Ang na-restore is yung physical. Kasi nag-stop na yung bleeding. Pero nagkaroon din po ng release because she has the peace. Go in peace. Ito yung tinatawag na liberated na. Okay, pinawalan na and be freed from your suffering. There's a lot of suffering going on with this woman kasi ano siya eh, uh, nire-reject siya ng society because ang tingin sa kanya ang un- unclean because be- before, ang sabi nga ni Brother Mel kanina, the Jewish law or the Mosaic law or the law of Moses, when you are bleeding, you are unclean and if you touch someone, who is clean, that will be also tagged as unclean. That is just the law. But here, Jesus is, is saying, no. Ako na sinalat niya, he touched Jesus. She touched Jesus, no? 
Sinalat niya ang ating Panginoon, maski ang Panginoon is very clean. That means she knows that this is the Messiah. This, this, he is the one. He is the king that will free me from this sickness. For all of you, I know, meron po tayong mga prolonged sickness. For those of you, right now po, the Lord is talking to me. Are you experiencing cancer? Are you experiencing something na matagal na po kayong may sakit? The good Lord is just waiting for you, but you have to have faith just like this woman. For those of you na matagal na ang mga financial problems nyo, and you are a slave, no? Ang, ang, the heart that you are coming from is to have a financial freedom. But the good Lord is saying before you have a financial freedom, you should go in peace, seek the Lord because He is the one. The focus is for you not to get healed. The focus is chase after the one who is going to free you. Always and always we go back to the relationship with the good Lord who, who has the power, he has the word, who is the one who's going to release you the freedom. This woman, daughter, your faith has healed you. And then, so ano faith ano? is a key word. Faith is a key word. Yes. And then siguro yung sinasabi yung acceptance kanina and belongingness, yun yung nagpagaling sa kanya. Kasi matagal nang walang kasama tong ano na to eh. Kasi pagka bleeding ka o yung tinatawag na meron kang ketong, out ka ske. Nakahiwalay ka doon sa ano, sa mga kamag-anak mo. Yes. Yeah. Kasi bawal mo nga siyang bawal kang hawakan, bawal mo silang hawakan, bawal mo silang lapitan. So nag-iisa to sa buhay for 12 years. And mm. sa atin ni Panginoon ng Panginoon dito, daughter, yung belongingness So, yeah. in a, relationship, yeah. no? Nagkaroon siya ng rela yung relationship ng father to a daughter. Ayan. So, Brother Mel has just talked about the third story, no? May tatlo pong tayong story. Ang, ang verse po natin kanina is John 8, 3 to 11. And then si Brother Mel, Mark 5, 25 to 34. Isulat po natin yan and let us gold mine later on. Pag-usapan natin sa dinner table ng ating mga anak. And yung third story is Luke 8, Luke 8, 43 to 48. Ito yung the same story as Mark 5, 25 to 34. Okay, so nakatatlong story na po tayo. The fourth story, which is parallel to the stories that we talk about, yung tatlo kanina is yung Story of the blind man in Mark 10:46 to 52, and I will read very quick. Then they came to Jericho. As Jesus and his disciple, together with a large crowd, were leaving, a blind man, Bartimaeus, means Bar, son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Can you underline that in your Bible? Verse 47, Mark 10, verse 47. Sabihin niyo po ngayon habang sinusulat niyo. And imagine that you are in that particular event. What this story paint in us Sabihin po natin with conviction, with passion. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Yan po eh, sumigaw dito. He shout, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus, son of David. And verse 48 says, Many rebuke him. Oh, ito na po, ano? And told him to be quiet. But he shouted all the more. Ang nakikita po natin dito sa Mark 10, 46 to 52, which is the story of Bartimaeus, the blind man, and we're talking about liberation and restoration. How the good Lord restored and liberated the woman who committed adultery in John, um, John, John 8, no? Um, 
3 to 11, is the same story as the woman who's been bleeding for 12 years. And now we are going to talk about the blind man. Tingnan po natin kung paano siya na liberate at paano siya na restore. And the same thing to situation of you and me right now na gusto natin magkaroon ng restoration, na merong nawala sa atin, na gusto natin maibalik. Okay? In verse 47, he declared, Jesus, son of Nazareth. And he shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Inulit niya ulit. Verse 49, Jesus stopped and said, Call him. At that time, kasama po ni Lord ang kanyang mga disciple. Call him, ang sabi niya dito. So they called the blind man. Cheer up, on your feet, he's calling you. Okay? And verse 50, throwing his cloak. Okay? Mga kapatid, noon po unang sa, sa law of Moses, pag ikaw ay bulag, you are outcasted sa society. So meron kayong mga particular damit para ma-stamp kayo or ma-mark kayo na kayo ay bulag. No? Pero ang sabi dito, throwing his cloak aside, tinanggal na po niya yung cloak niya. And then he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. Verse 51, what do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. And the good Lord says in verse 52, Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight, his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Wow, once again, yung verse 52 is almost similar to what the good Lord has told that 12 year bleeding woman. Your faith has healed you. So if in order for you to be freed from something, it's either by sickness, sickness or bad relationship or financial problem, anything na nakagapos kayo, na nakatali ka la kayo, na hostage kayo. Faith is a requirement. And let's go back to verse 46 where the story started. You know, they came to Jericho. Kasama ng ating Panginoon ang kanyang mga disipulo. Pero nadinig nung mga disciple, they have a mission. The mission of our Lord Jesus is to go with his disciples and preach the good news. But when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, nadinig ng blind man. Alam niyo po, tatlong beses siyang nag nag nagsabi ng mga salitang, kaya po ito is a sign that he has a big faith because Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus son of David, son of David, have mercy on me. He's talking about the God who opened the Red Sea, the God of Jacob, the God of Abraham, the God of David. Yung lineage sa God the Father, declare niya that Jesus is the Messiah who's going to pre everyone. The question for you and me, the challenge today is, mga kapatid, do you declare in your house? Anak, may sakit ka? But Jesus, the son of David, he has mercy on you. He will free you. He will liberate you. He will restore your health. That is the declaration. Jesus of Nazareth, he is the Messiah. He is the one who died in the cross. And he will free you. That is the word of liberation. The word of restoration. Ang sabi nga ni Diyos last Tuesday, Walang karapatan, sickness has no right to be in our body. Any kind of sickness. But here, makikita natin sa blind man, ang taas ng faith. Alam nyo, hindi naman po siguro at that time, iisa lang ang bulag. I'm sure maraming bulag dyan. Pero sa verse 48, marami ding mga bully. Ang sabi dito, many rebuke him and told him to be quiet. 
You know, ako po, ganito rin eh, biktima ako ng ganito na a lot of people around me, they keep on silencing me because even in the airport, even in the taxi, I have this urge to speak to them and introduce Jesus in my life. You know, Kuya Grab, I talk to Kuya Grab, I talk to Kuya Uber nung may Uber pa tayo, I, I talk to Kuya Tok Tok, and even in the airports, I look for OFWs going to the Middle East crying in the airports kasi iiwanan nila yung pamilya nila. And I told them, you know what? You can do this because the Lord is with you. Jesus, son of David, he is the one who is going to liberate you and me. And here in this story, ang dami pong gustong isilence itong, itong blind man na to. But the blind man, instead of being quiet, quiet, he shouted all the more, Kuya Saldi, Kuya Jojo. Lalo siyang, si Kuya Jojo, alam niyo po, si Kuya Jojo who's been listening and uh, joining us here in Red Talks. With your permission, Kuya Jojo, say okay kung okay ko lang na ikwento ang story mo at babalikan ko later. Because I can see you here no, in this story. Talagang maraming bully sa, sa buhay natin. Bright people ang mga bully, but very blind ang mga mga bright na ito. Alam mo ito pong si itong si uh, si Bartimaeus, blind lang siya pero he can see spiritually. I-type niyo po diyan, he can see spiritually. And Kuya Jojo says okay to share his story. Kuya Jojo po is under uh, a sickness ng uh, Nagpapadayalisi si Kuya Jojo. But no one can silence Kuya Jojo to promote Jesus. Mga kapatid, Kuya Julius Dato, he has a big faith. That is why here, he is here in Red Talks. And here, you're correct, Sister Cleo. Maraming mga tao dito na talagang hindi bulag insight pero bulag sila sa kanilang paniniwala because they are not freed nakagapos sila okay here itong si Bartimaeus he shouted all the more with perseverance with passion okay the more that he gets silenced by the people what he does is he proclaim that the messiah is going to free me the messiah who's going to liberate me This is the only beggar who got the attention of Jesus. I'm sure meron ding sumisigaw doon, but the one who has faith, bago siya lumapit kay Lord, bago niya ma-receive ang sickness, tinapon na niya yung cloak. That is faith. Hindi na ako blind. Kasi hindi pa nga siya hinihil. Tinapon na niya yung cloak. You know, there is this story. Nagpe-pray ng ulan. Ang sabi nung anak niya, um, They're praying, they're praying in their house that, no, we really need to pray for, for rain because our crops need it, our farms need it. And so, one day, um, ang sabi ng magulang, anak, we have to go out. Ang sabi ng bata, ma, bakit wala kang payog? Eh, anak, ang taas ng, ano, eh, ng araw. No? But we're praying for rain, ma'am. Sabi niya, uulan kasi sasagutin tayo ni Lord. That is the faith eh. Nagdala agad ng payong. Mataas ang araw, nagpe-pray ng, uh, ng, ng payong. Sabi nung bata, uulan daw, kaya magdadala siya ng payong. That is the same faith we can see here. Before Bartimaeus received a sight, tinapon na niya yung cloak. You guys, if you're praying, you know, the, the kingdom of God, operates in opposite. You have to give in order to receive. Kung ikaw, you are in the lowest financial situation, but still you are generous to other people, there you will have a breakthrough. The kingdom of God operates in opposite. You have to die before you live. 
before this blind man receive a sight, he has a faith already na itapon yung cloak niya. But verse 49, Jesus stopped and said, Call him, so they called the blind man. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. But verse 51, pakipost po natin sa verse 51. What do you want me to do for you? E obvious ba Lord? Ang gusto ko sight. Pero you know what? The good Lord will release liberation. The good Lord will give you restoration. But you have to speak specifically. You have to ask specifically. What do you want me to do for you? Ang sabi ni Lord. Kunwari, ikaw yon, ikaw yon, Kuya, Kuya Saldi. No? Saldi, anong pwede kong gawin sa'yo? Eh, nakita naman niya, bulag ka. Pero still, tinatanong niya. You know, when you have a divine encounter and divine uh, meet up with the Lord, Jesus can offer more. Si Hannah, my daughter, we ask her to, we ask the Lord to heal her. Hindi lang po healing ang pinagkaloob ni Lord. Lahat kami buong pamilya, kasama kaming na-restore. Lahat kami naging Christian because of the story. Story of Anna, my daughter, 1994, and today, 2022. My family is serving the Lord because of that particular incident. So I ask you, what do you want from the Lord? Obvious, ba Lord, gusto ko lang makakita. But Jesus asked, I want to see. Ang sabi ni ano ni ni Bartimaeus. Jesus, son of David. Jesus from Nazareth. Yung beggar po, nagihingi ng pera yan, ano? Di ba? Pag beggar, nagihingi ng pera. Maybe ang gusto lang ni ano ni Bartimaeus na bigyan mo ako ng pera para yung mama nako. Pero hindi. Eh. Bartimaeus asked for the source. Alam niya kasi. Pag nagkaroon na siya ng sight, hindi na niya kailangan maging beggar. Hit, hit already from, from what you need specifically. Number 52, Jesus said, Go, your faith has healed you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. Wow! Na verse 52, Pagkayaring niyang nakareceive, nag-follow siya kay Lord. Complete restoration of the of the eyes of sight but complete restoration of the soul. Not just healing physical. Faith can liberate you. Faith can reform you. Faith can restore you. Faith can transform you. This is the God who can free you. This is the God who liberates you. This is the God who restores you. Tonight, mga kapatid, you parallel your story to the story of that particular woman who have sinned because of adultery. The woman who's been bleeding for 12 years, prolonged problem. And this Bartimaeus, faith is very important in order for the word of freedom, word of liberation, can come true. And these stories that we give you to us today, this is consistent that the God we are worshiping, the Jesus who died in the cross, is the God who can really give you. Everything, but you have to have faith. And the same story goes. Dito po sa story number five natin, which is the story of the leprosy. And so let's go to Luke five twelve to sixteen. Okay, Luke five twelve to sixteen. Can you can you read, Brother Mel, very fast? Luke five. Yeah, nanjan ba sa yon? 
Okay? Can someone post po dyan? Remember, we have seven stories for tonight. Ang main verse, main story po natin is yung John 8. Yung seven stories po natin, you know? You know what, mga kapatid? 5 a.m. po namin pinag-usapan nito ni Pastor Willie kanina because he's working and he has to talk to us so that we can give you a beautiful story tonight from the Lord. We are so thankful because we have a good mentor na talagang pareho coming. we have to match our schedule because we just, me and Brother Mel, we just came from, uh, from Cebu last night and we arrived very late. no? So, we have to do that because so that so that the good Lord will flow the message in all of us tonight. And I hope you got you guys are catching this. Brother Mel, can you read Luke 5, 12 to 16? 16, no? 12 to 16. 12 to 16. Okay. So Luke 5, verse 12 to 16. While Jesus was in one of the town, a man came along who was covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and begged with him, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out in his hand and touched the man. I'm willing, he said, be clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him. And Jesus Order him, don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices and Moses commanded for you, for your cleansing as testimony to them. Yet the news about him spread all the more. So the crowd of people came to hear, came to hear him and to heal of their sicknesses. But Jesus often withdraw it to a lonely place and pray. Amen. Amen. So mga kapatid, here we are uh, we are talking about in the story uh, number five of our tonight's episode seven. Ano? Ito po yung may leprosy. In setting you free, mga kapatid, sometimes we hide on our sin. Okay? Ang sabi po dito, kasi pag may leprosy ka, kasalanan na ipakita na may leprosy ka. So normally, itinatago yun. No? In fact, ayaw ding makita ng mga pariseyo yon. Ang sabi dito is, uh, Jesus reached out His hand and touched the man. I am willing. He said, be clean. And immediately, the leprosy left him. Then Jesus ordered him, don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices that com Moses commanded you for cleansing as a testimony to them. You know what? Magkakaroon po tayo ng word of testimony episode next time. Because most of us, pag tayo na nalangin, at ipinagkaloob na sa atin yung freedom and liberation, what we do is talagang itinatago rin natin yung, yung mga kag kabutihan ng Diyos na ginawa sa atin. Here ang sabi dito ni Lord sa, sa, may, sa man with the leprosy is that go show yourself to the priest because the priest doesn't believe in Jesus. Pero now, your faith has healed you. Ang sabi dito, Jesus reached out his hand and touch the man. I am willing. Ang tanong, guys, are you willing? The Lord says, I am willing. Ang sabi niya, I am willing. But you have to be willing also. No? Here, tayo po minsan, ano? we are guilty of actually hiding yung mga nangyaring kabutihan sa atin. But Jesus is telling here, show yourself to the priest. Alam nyo po, ang napagaling dito ng ating Lord, ang na-free siya, ang na-liberate siya dito is the shame and the guilt. Nag 
may kahihiyan dahil may leprosi eh. Pero here ang nangyari, napagaling pero na-restore at nagkaroon ng freedom of shame and guilt. So any one of you who is guilty, any one of you who is shameful, alam niyo po ang key to testify. Ikwento mo ang kwento ni Jesus. Ikwento mo ang kwento ng kabutihan ng ating Panginoon sa mga kaibigan mo. Ito po yung sinasabi dito sa leprosy. The Word of God liberates us when we start sharing. When we start speaking and tell someone what happened to our lives before. I am a product of a Miss Mill family. Hindi ko kinahihiya na I Miss Mill before. But ang sentro ng kwentuhan is ang kabutihan ng Diyos na right now, even though before, nakikita ko lang ang chicken pag December. But now, every day I can eat chicken. The power of God's word can heal, can liberate. But guys, most of the time, ang wall natin, ang kinukwento natin is yung mga problema natin. Pero pag tayo testimony na, time na, matipid na tayong lahat. Why? Bakit natin ikinahihiya ang kabutihan ng ating Panginoon? This is the story of the leprosy. Go and show yourself to the priest. Before, they cannot show themselves when they have a ketong. Guys, obedience can clean. Obedience can rinse you. Pwede kang mahugasan. Here, the story of one to seven. Ano ang mga nakagaapos tayo? Ano ang nakatanikala tayo? The key is to have faith me, myself, as the speaker here tonight, are taking notes. The key is faith. So what are you chained to now? Ano yung nakagapos ka? Your career? Your relationship? Your sickness? The last story is story number 7 in Luke 7, 36 to 15. And I will read this very fast kasi over time na tayo. When one of the Pharisees invited Jesus to have dinner with him, he went to the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. Luke 7, 36 to 50 po ito. A woman in the town who lived a simple life learned that Jesus was eating at the Pharisee's house. So she came there with an alabaster of perfume. As she stood behind him at his feet weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and poured perfume on them. Hindi ko na po ito babasahin lahat. But here, what we are saying is, the Pharisees who invited Jesus to their home, okay, eh hindi po inasikaso ng tama ang ating Panginoon. But this woman, she poured an alabaster perfume. Pero ang tanong dito sa kanya ng mga paris is, why are you touching her? She's dirty. ba? Sabi dito, Brother Mel. Jesus, why are you touching her? She's dirty. Religious person will ask you many, many things. Religious person will judge you. But Jesus will free you, will liberate you. In verse 48, Jesus said, Your sins are forgiven. Jesus said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The same, the same 
statement, the same word of freedom, the same word of restoration, the same word of liberation. This is our story tonight. From the woman who committed adultery to the woman who's been bleeding for 12 years, to the blind man who's been blind for a long time, to the leprosy guys who's been outcasted by the society, and for this woman who poured an alabaster perfume in the feet of Jesus, the same statement of word of liberation. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. So tonight, mga kapatid, be liberated, be freed. Jesus said to all of us tonight, Ati Jane, Ati Cleo, Kuya Jojo, Kuya Saldi, Anna Pin, Sister Anita, Sister Vicky, Sis, Brother, Brother Gasmin, all of us who's been staying here and listening to our Lord Jesus, your faith has saved you. Your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Okay? With that, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Brother Mel, last word before we pray. Uh, alam po natin na mahal tayo ng lahat ng Diyos. At He want to liberate us. He want to free us. He want to uh, restore us. Not only for our physical, physical heal, not only physical healing, but emotional healing, spiritual healing. So yan po, ano? Yan po yung nakuha ko dito, ano? So God loves us. Amen. Okay. With that, kwentuhan, kwentuhan, kwentuhan po ng pag-ibig ng ating Panginoon. Episode seven ang pinagkwentuhan din po natin ay pitong story. Okay? And we gave you all the verses. If you didn't get that, what we will do is post that in the group chat so that you can gold mine the seven stories, the seven parallel stories of word of liberation and restoration. Let us pray. Father God, we want to thank you for tonight. We thank you for your presence in everyone's home from the home of Sister Cleo, to the home of Sister Anita, to the home of Sister Vicky, Sister Anapin, Kuya Jojo, Kuya Saldi, Ati Marcel, Kuya Glenn, and everyone, all families, represented in our Red Talks Thursday Quentuhan. We want to thank you first and foremost, Lord, for being present in each of our individual homes, for speaking to us personally, for talking to us intentionally. Father God, we want to thank you for a message of episode 7. We thank you, Lord, that through these seven stories, Panginoon, we saw your consistency, that your heart is to give mercy on us, to free us in the things that, that capture us in this world, Panginoon. Anything that steals our joy, Father God, Free us, Panginoon. And to all my fellow families listening and talking to you tonight, Father God, let us all be freed and let us all have peace, Father God. We hold on to your promise. The promises you have fulfilled in the blind man. The promises that you have fulfilled in the woman that you gave mercy who's been bleeding for 12 years. The woman who committed adultery. The woman who who have part of perfume in your feet, Panginoon. These seven stories tonight, the words of freedom and liberation, Father God, may it speak to all the families here, each member of the family. So Lord, we want to thank you because the God we are worshiping has mercy and love to all of us. We love you, Lord, and we look forward for Tuesday for another word episode, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord, because we get transformed. And tonight, Father God, we will infect many families through these stories, Father God. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. We thank the Lord. 
And uh, we have a beautiful uh, Thursday edition. So, i-gold mine nyo po lahat ng yon, And we will post that in our uh, group chat. Seven stories. Wow! Dati isa-isa lang yung story natin. Pero ngayon talagang seven stories. Ito pa lang... Seven story. <laughs> Oo. Ang, ang ganda, Brother Mel. So, ayan, nakasend na po sa ating uh, town hall. For those of you who are who is not a member yet of our town hall, uh, please let me know. I-message nyo po ako para ma-include po kayo. And these seven stories, pag-usapan nyo po yan, pagkwentuhan nyo sa inyong mga dinner table. Mahal po namin kayo. Good night po. God bless. God bless po. Good night. We love you guys. Bye-bye. Good night.